When I asked you about rebuilding and, and the protocol, I noticed you didn't get into probiotics or prebiotics. And these are products that have hit the market hard. And, and I know from your book, you're not a fan in general, at least of supplements. So talk about, it, it's pretty evident by your answer, but talk more about that. Is Are those ever products that you recommend to people or use yourself? I've I've used them a few times myself, um, um, particularly when I had, you know, I, I take many less antibiotics than I used to ten years ago before I understood the gut microbiome. But um, I've been forced to, a couple of times in the last ten years to take a course of antibiotics uh, for chest infections and things, and then I've taken a combination of. Uh, Natural probiotics, which I always prefer, which is my go-to kimchi's, uh, kefirs and kombuchas for three Ks. Uh, and have tried uh, people's suggestions of sort of pr- proprietary uh, probiotics in that time. But when I looked at the literature, I haven't been convinced that uh, for people who aren't unwell, probiotics make much of a difference. And that's probably because we're all incredibly different in our um, our gut microbes, very individual. And we, when you pick a commercial probiotic, there's just a handful of uh, species that are used in this field that have been approved and everything and have official patent, to, and et cetera. So the chances that those particular microbes will fit into uh, my community or your community or anyone's is actually rather small and have a, a major impact. We know that they do uh, affect the metabolism uh, to some extent, but and they do work in people with severe disease. For example, you know, people with uh, gut problems, infections, young kids, elderly elderly people, they are useful. But the, my view of reviewing all the evidence is that uh, there's very little evidence they help normal people prevent uh, illnesses. And I'd much rather people took probiotics in natural food because, A, you know they're alive because you can smell them. And so you know it's not some fake rip-off uh, stuff that's been hanging around in a warehouse for three years. Um, or And also you get a greater variety generally of species when you pick uh, probiotics in real food. So I think they're, they're, they're the, the reasons that I, I'm generally... Uh, not in favour of probiotics. I tend to believe it, uh, with with some exceptions. And there are some, you know, some studies of people with uh, depression or irritable bowel syndrome where the evidence is better. Um, but for normal people, just saying, I want this, I want to take a regular probiotic for my general health. I think until they're personalised, um, I don't think they're going to be very useful unless people experiment with, you know multiple different ones uh, and do test themselves. But I think it's more like the age of personalization. I think we are going to move in the next five years to better probiotics that are reflecting the new science. And there are a few that I think we're going to see in the next year that have come out of the latest uh, science rather than a 100-year-old science that we've known about, you know, these ones in yogurt or, or these fermented foods, ones that do affect our physiology. And so I, I, I'm, I'm not saying uh, never, I'm just saying at the moment, for most people, I, I don't recommend them. But uh, I think things are moving very fast. So I, I hope I'll be able to change my mind soon. And we've got some interesting data that we're collecting um, as part of the Zoe projects. Now we've got 30,000 people's diet and microbiome results that we can start to link up some of these exciting microbes that uh, are affected by diet and uh, and health and but it takes a long time to go from that discovery to putting um, this into a, a commercial product and so there's perhaps about a five-year delay between the science and actually uh, delivering these things which is always a bit frustrating for people like me who are rather impatient if you enjoyed that clip press here for the full episode i'll see you over there so it does mean a little bit of education about our bodies and, you know, this new organ that's suddenly come into our lives, which we didn't know 10 years ago really was there, uh, that all of us have.